Good morning. Looks like I came at a bad time. Are those dream catchers? It was probably during their afternoon nap time. Looks like you'll have to work hard to catch the big monster in my dream then. It's settled then. I'll see you in my dream tonight. If you don't come to catch the monster for me, I'll tell Poppy and Rosie. I don't think there is a conflict between rational thinking and innocent imagination, especially for children. Since the director and the children are away, does that mean you belong only to me today? Remember that unfinished piece of work we had? Didn't you say we have to draw something on it when it's finished? I have an idea. Let's draw the most beautiful dream. Can't they? Didn't you tell me the other day that you dreamed of a group of strawberries singing on a small wooden boat? That dream is more interesting than many paintings I've seen. Bring the pens over. The living room's too cold. Be careful not to get sick.
come here? Thinking about it, the bed is the best place to dream. But how do we draw a dream without having a dream first? And I wonder if I've ever appeared in your dreams recently. Or should I ask, if I appear in your dream, is it a sweet dream? In that case, isn't it your loss? Whatever it is, I'll answer anything you ask. What secrets can there be? Do you want to know what I wrote? Are you sure? If you are, then we can exchange secrets. Perhaps it was because of the lovely weather. I wanted to write you some secrets that I didn't want the sea to know about. Yes. Weren't you staring at me the whole time we were on the boat? Why? Were you afraid I'd get lost? Were you really afraid I'd get lost? And home.
hold me tight, okay? Can you tell me what you wrote on the note? Won't you satisfy my curiosity? If it wasn't, why did you peek at me when you were writing? It seems that I must be in your sweetest dreams. Let me draw it for you. One time, I took a nap in the research center and dreamed that I became a fish. It was very dark in the lake and I couldn't see what it was like underwater, but it only took a thought to swim a long distance. Bubbles would come out of my mouth when I spoke and I could see the waves shimmering on the surface when I looked up. I could even hear the birds occasionally chirping from above the lake. I'm a light sleeper, so I was aware that I was in a dream. But even so, from the sound of rustling leaves around me, I still inferred that it was the height of summer. So perhaps I could see the stars and fireflies once the night fell. After that, I wandered around aimlessly thinking, I'd better look for a small fish to ask for directions, but I didn't see anyone. Then I woke up. I'd been working on a difficult project at that time for over six months but we hadn't seen any progress at all. I was frustrated, and even in my dreams I was thinking that I wouldn't have to work if I really became a fish.
anyone would feel anxious and discouraged when faced with insurmountable difficulties. I am no exception. Fortunately, I found inspiration after that dream. In hindsight, perhaps the bizarre dream allowed my brain to rest and cleared my head. I often don't remember my dreams, so any good dreams I remember are sweet. Are you drawing a small pond for me? May I give you a kiss? Like this. You were so focused on painting that I felt like any desire I have at this moment is a distraction. <laughs> Looks like I'll have a sweet dream tonight. The rule of the game is that each person has to say something to the sea, and so we can't cheat. You're going to ask me what I've written this time. This will be my sweetest dream. What would you like to do after taking the children back to the orphanage? Great. Sounds like a plan. Shall we go? <laughs> <laughs> 